Cargo documentation. Cargo documents which are issued by the charterer or the master must be handled with care because they will be the official documents of the chartered voyage. These documents must be prepared by the ship according to the designated format from the charterer or NYK line until it sails from port. The following documents must be prepared in principle. Ullage report. Notice of readiness. Timesheet and protest letter, Ullage report. Fill up according to the format and obtain the signature of the terminal representative before leaving port. If final API is not provided by supplier due to early departure procedure, the gross quantity can only be calculated. Timesheet. This is an important document for recording the movements of the ship. It should be recorded according to the format provided so as to be able to compare with the timesheet from the supplier. Important items that will cause any disadvantages to the ship owner or the charterer must be entered. For example, any delays or suspension of loading or slow loading rate. They should be entered in the remarks column and the signature of the terminal representative should be obtained. Protest letter related to loading. A protest letter must be issued against any unfavourable occurrences for the ship owner or the charterer, such as delays, suspension of cargo operations and slow loading rate. If specific instructions about protests have been given by the charterer, the ship should follow them. The signature of the terminal representative should always be obtained. Notice of readiness, NOR. This is to notify the concerned parties that the vessel is ready to commence loading of cargo. The ship's master must notify the terminal on the time of readiness upon arrival at the port. If the charterer has given instructions on the time to tender NOR, follow it strictly and tender NOR according to the timing specified by the charterer. If the terminal representative refuses to sign the cargo documents, Note it down on the document with the master's signature. Bill of Lading Neither the Bill of Lading nor any blank paper should be signed. However, the signature on a blank paper related to the Bill of Lading may be approved by the charterer as customary at some ports. Thus, it should be clarified beforehand with the charterer. If EDP is adopted, the agency should be entrusted with the authority to sign the bill of lading on behalf of the ship's master. In this case, the entrustment should be clarified either in writing or through telex, email, etc. If the master receives the bill of lading, he should check the bill of lading figure and loaded cargo figure. The following details should also be checked. Kind of cargo. API. Cargo quantity of each parcel, including cargo tolerance. Consigner. Consignee. Date of bill of lading. Name of master. Early departure procedure, EDP. The objective of EDP is to minimize the duration of stay in port. If instructed by charterer to adopt EDP, Follow the instructions as practical. After sailing from the final loading port, fill up the stowage plan after loading document and send it to the required department in the NYK line as instructed. The following figures are to be included in the stowage plan after loading format. 1. Draft of passing Singapore. 2. Draft of arrival discharging port. 3. Specific gravity of seawater for above calculated draft in the remarks column. It should be calculated by ship's figure. Dead freight statement should be made according to charterer's instructions.